Hey team, welcome to Inside the Movie Photographer with Jason Boland. Today, I've got a bit of a ripper actually. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I have a bit of an attitude towards AI imagery, so to speak. And uh, as a photographer, it just really doesn't interest me. But I have always said that I want to be able to use AI to build on my images and to make them better, you know, start off with a something, an ad. But today, I'm actually going to show you a start with something and remove. Now, um, the image that I'm going to show you is uh, of, of uh, Chris Hemsworth on extraction, and it's a behind-the-scenes shot. And I, I use this photograph in all my talks to show where the photographer is amongst all the chaos of uh, the camera equipment and other crew. Now, the funny thing about this is um, I thought, there's no way in the world that um, AI can uh, figure this out, the, the new Photoshop generator. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a crack and we're going to see what it actually can do. And um, I wonder whether we'll be surprised or um, disappointed. But anyway, I'm going to hook straight into it uh, because I'm actually really excited to give this a go because I always sat there and said, you know, as us guys on, on, and girls on film sets, there's always equipment in the way. And in the past, some of the things have been really easy to get rid of just by cloning or healing. Um, but some can be super complicated. And this image is going to be super complicated. And I want to see what it can do. Um, and it's something that is, I feel, is really, really worthwhile for us. And not just for the film still photographer, for any photographer out there that you want to get rid of, you know, a little bit of something um, that shouldn't be there. Um, I'm no photo journalist. I was in the past, but I'm not anymore. So removing something from an image is absolutely fine as far as I'm concerned when it comes to my work on a film set. Um, but if you are at a place of conflict or, you know, any other news story, um, then you should kind of really leave it alone, shouldn't you? All right. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to hook right into it. I'm even going to put my glasses on. Um, I'm going to bring up this shot of uh, of Hemsey. And where are we going to go? We're going to go to here. And I'm just going to hook straight into it. So um, this is the Photoshop beta version, um, which has the generator in it. But just so you know, I'm really, really bad at Photoshop. Well, got my glasses on, so I'm good to go. <laughs> Um, let's have a look what what can do. All right, let's go straight to the lasso. This is a really complicated shot, and it's an image that I use for BTS. And what I do is I show this, and then the next one is a, a shot of Chris looking all heroic. And it's just to show what the still photographer has to compete with on these action films. And, uh, you know, I've got three cameras there and, uh, and what, one, two, three, four, five crew... And, um, you know, it's craziness. So let's say I wanted to get rid of a few things. Let's have a look how good it actually does. Follow the lasso. I'm really bad at Photoshop, just so everyone knows. Get around Hemsey's uh, toes. Get rid of all the stuff that I want to get rid of. Down here. Right. Press generative fill. Generate. I mean, look at, look at that. <laughs> Let's see what it does, though. It can be a little bit, um, I suppose, unsure of itself. <laughs> That's completely unsure of itself. So uh, what other options did it give me? Um, see, that's pretty close. It's not too bad. But what I would actually like, I don't know what that wheel's doing in the middle there. What I would actually like to do is um, get rid of all that background. So let's try and do it with a bigger lasso this time. See if that makes a difference, eh? I guess it's telling it now to get rid of all of that. Generative fill, generate. Let's see what um, evil plan it comes up with this time. Oh, well, okay. That's getting close, isn't it? Not bad at all. What other options has it got? Yeah. Thinking a little bit too much, I think. But I'm quite impressed with that it's left the pole in here. It is a bit hit and miss, I've got to say. But, you know, once it's hit, it's actually a pretty good hit. And it saves all the layers for you, for you as well. 
Well, it did basically what I what I said with the other. Um, let's see, let's see if building on this. Because I don't want this stuff. Right, I don't think I need to type in a prompt there. I'll just go for a, a generative fill, so to speak, or removal. See what it does with this one. They're pretty impressive. Yeah, see, that's not bad at all, is it? That's a bit silly. Mm, three. Yeah, three. Okay, see, so... Oh, that's added something to it, hasn't it? All right, let's see what it does when we get rid of the guys over here. Around the map box. Remember to get the special effects guys' feet out of the way up here. Right. So generative fill. See if it can figure out what it's building on. I, I think I know a couple of things that it might not get right, but um, oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to miss the lines here. Oh my gosh! Um, that's next level. Sorry, I have to look behind because my camera's in the way of my screen. Okay, now. <laughs> Those first two things, I never imagined that I'd ever want to do them in my life, um, and I just did uh, did it to see whether it could cope with it, and I selected this image to be able to do that, and uh, wow is all I can say. Holy moly. So this is what we would normally use it for, is get, getting rid of booms and equipment, not whole people. Wow is all I can say. <laughs> For the film still photographer, this is <laughs> this is a tool made especially for us um, and for anyone else really. But holy uh, wow, um, I've got a whole lot of other superlatives I want to rip out about now, but I'm not going to. Let's see what it does with the bo with the boom. Now it's even kept. You know, I've lost a couple of um, lines here, but no one's going to be looking at that, and you can always build on it. Oh my golly. I don't like the shadow here. I'm going to get really fussy and let's have a go at that. From what we started with to what we have finished with, oh, my gosh. This is completely next level. Now, everyone knows that I am not a fan of AI imagery at all. Look at that. Fix that up. Wow, you can just keep building and building. And it's all out there of me saying that I really like the idea of this um, to build on my images or in this case to unbuild, <laughs> um, you know, take an image that is solely mine um, and the photographers, uh, any photographers, and to be able to improve on our images as opposed to having it um, sample lots and lots of other photographers' work. Um, I can't see that there would be any sampling from other photographers' work in here. It's literally thinking about what would be in the background of mine. This blows me away here that I've taken out that it actually still has the line of the um, tray in it. Um, messed up the license plate a little bit. Let's just have a look, see if it'll fix up that license plate, actually. It may or may not. Speechless. Really am speechless. Oh, it's got rid of it. So that's actually probably an improvement. Has it got anything else? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, I mean, wow. That really is quite something else. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? What do you do? So I just quickly say the other one. So let's have a look. We're going to toggle between the two. This is the original. That is pretty amazing. I mean, there's a couple of things. Like, you know, it's missing the um, the wires from up here. You could put something in. It's pretty good. Oh, hold on. Let's try something for me. Right. Let's go and put a lasso in here. So this is what I want to do. Large explosion. Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it, but marketing department when they're making the posters they would oh okay the generated images were removed because they violate user guidelines 
So that's not much help for me. But anyway, I could put something in. Um, let's try uh, big fire. See if it allows that big fire. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's pretty interesting, though. <laughs> it's not a big fire, but oh my gosh, it's um. <sighs> Golly gee, go anywhere with this, couldn't you? Far out. I don't even know. You could almost leave it like that. And so there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So <laughs> as I was editing the video, I thought, oh, what would it look like with a crack in the road? So I'm just going to insert this one and we'll give it a crack, so to speak. But... <laughs> The way I was doing the video too, it didn't have the um, the toolbar in there for the uh, generative AI, so to speak. So I'm going to get my lasso and I'm going, I want the crack to come sort of along like that. Let's see. And then I'm going to type in big crack. But yeah, I just wanted to insert this one because I thought it'd be a little bit fun to just show you um what else it can do and and uh, see for myself to be honest uh, and nearly done oh now that's pretty good isn't it so let's go through them that's number one and then you've on the uh, little arrow here for the variations number two uh, number three now i like number one that's really quite amazing like really amazing so there you go, um, little uh, brain insert there. Um, tool made for the film still photographer and any photographer to tell you the truth, but uh, just to be able to remove the boom alone is really all I'd ever use it for and a bit of equipment, but I thought I'd be a bit silly and take it to the extreme. And I think this is <laughs> a pretty extreme example of, of what it can do. If you enjoyed this, if you could, do the uh, bell and subscribe. That'd be really, really cool. And then you get notified next time I do one of these videos. And, you know, as per usual, I do the videos for me. Um, as I experiment, it's all live. And I just want you guys to uh, have a look and, and get excited like I do sometimes. Wow, is all I've got to say. This is absolutely next level when it comes to um, being able to use for my job. I'm all for it. I've said it a million times before. I'm not a massive fan. I'm not a fan at all, actually, of AI images. But to be able to build on my photography and uh, anyone out there on building on your own photography, I think that's great. I don't think it's sampling from anyone else's images out there. Um, it's really actual AI of trying to figure out um, what is behind the images here. Well, there you have it. Um, blowing me away. And this is exactly what I want AI for, exactly what I want it for. I want it to be able to improve on my images, not go out and improve on someone else's images that it's um, gone and sampled throughout the whole web. Um, it's something, this actually makes it something, um, you know, you can sit there with Photoshop and remove those things and it'll take you a week to do or you can do it with the new um, AI generator and it'll do it as you saw in a matter of seconds. Um, blowing me away. Uh, a bit speechless, actually. Um, I'm going to go and I've got a whole lot of edits to do from my work from the last couple of days. So I'm going to hook into it with, uh, with the new beta version and um, remove a few booms. So if you all enjoyed this one, if you could, um, you know, do the uh, subscribe and the bell, which way is it? Bell and subscribe. I forget. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Anyway, next time. Cheers.